Well, um, it's a teamwork, actually. Uh, my name is uh, Kolade Adeyemi, and my wife, Fumilayo Adeyemi. Um, Milesfield, Texas, that's where we come from, where the redeemed Christian Church of God, we pastor a church there. Um, it's been a journey uh, before BGU, and uh, BGU has actually enabled us to um, propel our dreams into higher grounds. Um, myself, I'm somebody who is who believes in church, that the church should be more active than it is currently. That the church has the potential and the abilities and the grace of God to transform our world, beginning from the grassroots. That the church has the strength and the wisdom and God sent shalom to put our societies on a better platform. We've always believed that. Um, because of that, we were missionaries in Malawi, Central Africa, on behalf of our church, the Deep Church of God. When we came to the U.S., we, we, we continued in the same manner. In Michigan, Grand Rapids, Michigan, and now Texas, we are known to be community agents, transformers, who believe that change must occur as long as the Holy Spirit is there for a better life. So we were discussing about uh, uh, what should we do next about our education. My father is someone in his 80s, early 80s. My mom passed away a week after we, did, we, we, defensed, we defended our dissertation. Um, they've been giving me all the encouragement to do more than I'm doing to make sure that my Christian life is not just um, being one of those members of the church who are just sitting there and walk the bench or just pastor a congregation, but that our life should, we should work hard to make a difference. So we made up our mind. Uh, my wife is, has been very, very encouraging too to start this program, the doctoral program, so that we can be uh, an instrument of change, not just to our church, but to the society at large, the world as a forum. And we thank the Lord for all of our lecturers, the faculty. You've done a wonderful, wonderful job helping us to uh, realize that there are greater dreams inside us than we thought. We thank the Lord for Dr. Randy. Thanks so much for all of our lecturers. Thank you also to Dr. Lowell uh, Bakke. The Appreciative Inquiry uh, program is awesome. And uh, I wish I could start all over again and do another PG PhD right away. God has been so wonderful. I would love my wife to say one or two things, though. Um, I know what everybody wonders about is how husband and wife could do this together. And they run like a jet without fighting, without breaking their head. Uh, I will link it with uh, the reason why we did a corporate social responsibility. Uh, I'm very grateful to God for... I may talk about my husband a little bit. It's related to the dissertation. I was born with a, a disability, you know, with speech disorder. We call it stuttering in British like English. It's like when you are speaking, people will not understand you. I rush the word. The word that somebody will speak for five minutes, I can speak it under one second. So people didn't hear me. But over the time, I was encouraged and I discovered that despite all that problem, I find myself anywhere I get into the world, any part of the world, I find myself to be a leader. But now I find myself in the church, and it's like, church is like an octopus that brings people in, swallow all your gifts, and then you are done out. That is the only way I can describe the way the wall of the church generally, not only my church. So right there and then, we continue, and one day I made up my mind, said, okay, enough is enough of church leadership, I want to go into a secular world, and I went into doctor of um, physical therapy. But over the time, my husband heard about this program and told me, stop your doctor of physical therapy, join me with this, because there's an assignment for you in the church of God again. And I joined in to do this program. And what I discovered, the reason why we went to social, uh, corporate social responsibility is that it's like a burden in our heart. How will church be able to go outside 
when are we going to step out from within the wall? When are we going to see the need, the cry of the people out there? The Bible says that the children of the world they are waiting for the manifestation of the children of the kingdom. But we are there in the kingdom visiting, I mean feasting, eating, enjoying. And the world is still waiting for a manifestation. So because of this, when my husband called me into it again, I gave it a trial. And back at university showed me that I can still perform. I can still be the kind of leader that God wants me to be in the community. And that is why we both wrote on that. So that we'll be able to challenge the church of God again. And go back again with force to show the world that the world is still waiting for the children of the kingdom to come and manifest and to come and perform. That is why we wrote the dissertation. Thank you.